shortcuts uh, between Dynamo environments and to provide simplicity of usage of existing scripts. Uh, design teams, they may have a dedicated person uh, for development of such uh, scripts, and the rest of the P team uh, can simply open uh, such scripts, um, list these scripts using Dynamo player, um, set up uh, specific settings if there are any defined, uh, and run scripts easily. I personally use Dynamo as uh, the environment, um, as an environment to, to develop my scripts, not to run them. Every single script I prepare, uh, I do it really carefully. I think ahead of my you know, input parameters to have them properly organized, named, uh, and it, uh, added in the right order because the order of uh, the definition of them in the script uh, is then maintained in the Dynamo player interface. Uh, um, building your scripts that would be ready to be used with Dynamo player, you can, you can define uh, inputs and outputs to be displayed in the Dynamo player interface. Um, there are several types available that you can use for your inputs. And the definition of these inputs and outputs is, is very, very easy. You simply uh, click the right mouse button and then from a uh, context menu select its input or its output. For outputs, we use the watch notes only and there is one important information that you should remember when you create your outputs, uh, you need to change a default name of the watch node. So you need to provide a custom, a custom naming. If it's not done, then your uh, output will not be displayed in the Dynamo Player interface. It's a really common mistake uh, people make. Okay, so let's get started with uh, with the, very, with the very first package, uh, structural design package. This is, uh, this is the package I published a year ago. Um, it supports various structural workflows in Dynamo and Revit. The initial version of the package mostly supported the reinforcement uh, detailing workflows. However, the next versions I published uh, extended its scope, so it, this is not only you know, for, for rebots. Uh, so those screenshots, they, they capture um, some, some designs I was able to, to accomplish uh, using, using nodes available within this package. Uh, also in this package, you can find some cross-industry nodes such as selection nodes. Uh, because selection is really important par part of any script. Uh, and like I was saying, this package contains some examples um, to showcase workflows and demonstrate how structural process can be um, automated. Currently, the package contains 70 zero-touch nodes written in C-sharp. And this number is still growing, so you may expect some, some updates in the next, uh, next few months. Okay, let's get started with a, a first group of nodes you can find in this package. Um, like I said, selection is super info important when you create scripts for, uh, for Revit, for Dynamo for Revit. Um, Actually, 90% uh, uh, scripts I create, they have selection part because I need to get a context of my model. I need to retrieve some data from the existing uh, project to be able to um, create something new uh, based on this geometry or modify existing geometry, right? So this is super important. And why I developed this selection 